Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal bringing you today's video from Jerusalem in Israel after being on the road for a little bit this summer. It's really great to be back here. Um, I've had a couple of friends ask me over the past few months if I would record a video about how to make money through YouTube if you are based in Israel. So the uh, YouTube account I'm putting this up on is a monetized YouTube account, which means that it does earn me money. Uh, I can say it's bringing in a vast fortune and it's certainly not why I started this YouTube channel. But of course, in a place as expensive as Israel, every bit helps. And it is kind of satisfying to eat pizza and beer a few times a month, knowing that uh, all that money has come through uh, AdSense earnings from these videos I'm putting up on YouTube. So I want to talk a little bit just about how that works from an Israeli perspective um, and how that works generally. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to earn money through YouTube is not Israel specific so I won't go into it in any detail and that's having a monetized YouTube account. So YouTube or Google really has a threshold once your YouTube channel crosses, crosses that threshold and it's based on subscribers at least 1,000 and a specific number of watch hours, you're then eligible to apply for the YouTube Partner Program and begin monetizing your videos. So I won't talk about these requirements in any detail because they're not specific to Israel. And I wanna talk about the Israel specific stuff in this video. The Israel specific stuff is that if you begin earning money through YouTube, you're going to need to report it to the Israeli tax authorities. And that means basically you're going to need to be registered as a business in some manner. You can be what's called an Atzma'i. An Atzma'i is an independent business structure non-incorporated there are two forms in Israel one is a Osek Patur if your earnings are kind of low and that is a vast exempt sole trader business type and then you have an Osek Moshe which when you pass over a certain revenue threshold you by law have to upgrade to Osek Moshe and at the Osek Moshe level you need to charge VAT to Israeli customers. That's a bit of a simplification, but that's the most part of it. Then you also have the Ba'am, which is a uh, limited or incorporated business. But basically, if you're just doing YouTube videos and that's like your side hustle or your side income, uh, you're gonna be one to be one of the two types of an Atzma'i, uh, an Osek Patur or an Osek Moshe. Now, this wasn't so hard for me because since 2016, there are about um, I've had a teak, a file with the tax authority doing sometimes full-time, sometimes side projects as an independent contractor. So getting started administratively for me was really, really easy. But, you know, people might say, well, YouTube is not based in Israel. So do you need to report that for tax authorities? And the answer is definitely yes. If you are an Israeli tax resident, by which basically means you spend the majority of your year in Israel, whenever you earn money, whether you earn money from someone in the country or someone outside of the country, that income gets collected and reported in your tax return and you pay tax on that. So basically the relatively modest amount of money I earn through YouTube gets added to everything else I do and gets sent in on my uh, tax and VAT forms I send in every two months and I pay tax on that YouTube earning to the Israeli tax authority. Now, if you're wondering how that process works, if you're already set up as an Atzma'i in Israel and you're like, well, how do I report that? It's really simple. Basically, you get paid from AdSense. When you earn money through YouTube, you get, pa you get paid through AdSense. There, I believe, he actually HQ'd in Ireland, but it's just a Google subsidiary. And you need to basically just add that as a company in your accounting detail. And whenever you get a payment from AdSense, you need to create a Cheshbonit Mas Kabbalah for the exact amount in your accounting system. So green invoice is super, super popular, but there are other ones in the marketplace as well. There's probably some way to do this automatically through, you know, an API. But if you're only getting paid a few times a year from Google, it's pretty easy to do this uh, manually. Just every time you get that notification email from Google saying you've been paid through AdSense, then you need to go and create a corresponding piece of paper in your accounting system with the exact same payment amount that Google put in your bank account with the exact same payment date and then that will get added into the reports being generated in your Israeli accounting system. 
that's pretty much all there is to know, but I'm gonna actually end the video with one kind of pro tip, if you will. Uh, and that's basically in Google AdSense, you're able to change the payment threshold. The payment threshold is um, how much money you need to accrue in your AdSense earnings before Google will disperse a payment. By default, the AdSense minimum is, by default, it's set to the minimum, which currently when I'm uploading this video, this video in Israel is 400 shekels, so like $120 thereabouts. That means that every day when YouTube, uh, Google is running ads on your YouTube videos, it's going to wait until that amount crawls up to uh, the equivalent of 400 shekels. And once that, if that amount is being reached or exceeded, by the payment cutoff date, Google's going to pay you that plus whatever you earned by the cutoff date. Now my pro tip is that if you want to do less of this process of receiving payments from Google and um, creating the corresponding documentation, I would actually raise that payment threshold manually. Now you can really set it to whatever you want, but for instance, you can raise it from 400 shekels up to let's say, 2,000 or 3,000 shekels. And that means that Google will only pay you once your AdSense balance has passed the 3,000 shekel mark. What this means is that yes, you're going to be paid less frequently, um, but uh, you're going to have, but each payment's going to be more and you're going to have to create less of those manually generated receipts when AdSense pays you. You could even set it to something like 10,000 shekels and potentially only get paid once a year or once every six months, depending on how much money you're earning through the uh, Google uh, YouTube partner program. I hope this is helpful if you're looking at making uh, money through YouTube in Israel. Um, if you're already set up as an Atzmai, as an independent contractor of some sort, it's really, really not that difficult at all. In fact, it's not difficult at all, uh, but just follow this tip uh, to make getting those payments less regular and you'll cut out a little bit of the administrative legwork that you have to go through in order to legally and compliantly uh, generate revenue through AdSense if you're based in Israel.